Hey, what's up peeps, Doobs here. So while I got the gear out, I thought I would record another tutorial. This one on Transformers. It's one of the fundamentals, basically. The reason I'm doing this video is because the other day we were at Scratch Me Up. It's a regular portable jam. And we were doing the thing where you kind of go around and take it in turns and do a certain scratch. So we were doing just chirps, just Transformers, just flares, whatever. And I noticed a few people struggling with the Transformers which was surprising to me because it's kind of like one of those cuts which I think is pretty easy to grasp. So yeah, I thought I would share this tutorial to see if maybe it would help some people out. I don't know. <laughs> see you on the other side. So it kind of touches on the fader again, really. This is obviously, you know, left hand on the deck, right hand regular crossfader style and this is what works for me it's basically the whole thing of using your thumb as a spring if i kind of get my thumb and just keep the fader closed obviously the transformer is a closed fader cut so you know you want to keep the fader closed at all times and the way you do that is just kind of using your thumb as a spring to just keep it closed so yeah i kind of think about it as a button so once i've got the thumb like that and it's keeping it closed i'll just use my finger to tap it open, then I can relate that to the number of sounds I wanna make on the record. So if I wanna make four forwards and then four back, all I have to think about is tap the fader four times on the way forwards and then four times on the way back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So yeah, it's four forwards, four back. Two forwards, two back. The slower you are on the record, the easier it becomes. So it's rather than like any quick movements like that, you just do slow and steady like this. And then it gives you more time to get the number of sounds in that you want. Nice and slow on the record and then tap these. Constantly just have in your head how many times you're gonna tap it. I'm just gonna mess around with a bit and um, do different numbers. See what I mean? It was just like, keep that closed and just tap it. And because you're constantly keeping it closed and it's just a matter of syncing up the record, changing on in directions with the number of times you tap it. It's actually really useful to have these here for this tutorial as well, because that's obviously where my sound is. And I know that whenever I get to there, I need to change direction. And then I can reset the number of times I want to tap it and do it again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, one. After you've got the straight transformers, you want to kind of start messing around with the more swung transformers. So what do I mean by straight versus swung? These are straight transformers. And then these are swung transformers. So straight versus swung. So basically straight obviously means that the, the transformers are separated by the same amount and they kind of sound a bit robotic, which is cool. I think transformers do sound good because they are kind of robotic, but you can also change the position of the transformers. So like you can like squeeze them together a bit, kind of like how a drummer, when he's swung in a beat, he will like go a bit forwards and a bit behind. And that's what adds like the kind of movement. You can do that with any scratch, but that's its so own separate video. For transformers especially, it sounds really funky when you kind of mix it up a bit. And the, the record is kind of moving the same, really. It's just a case of going slowly on there again and just allowing you enough time to get the taps in and then tapping it. You can really actually start to swing it by manipulating the record as well. So yeah, I'm really like digging in there with my hand and kind of adding a, a, a movement of a change in pitch basically. And that complements really well the kind of uh, swung feeling that you're getting from the fader. Yeah, 
yeah, you just play with it. Once you start clicking and start messing around with the movement, it's super fun. It's kind of like, it becomes dicing then, I think it's called. When you, and you can even add in the tears. That's the progression. Start off nice and easy, just getting hitting your number of taps cleanly, then start messing around with some swing, then really start messing around with the, the record at the same time, and then before you know it, killing it, basically. Yeah, super fun scratch, and they're just really good for linking things up, as I say. That was just babies and transformers and there's so many combos there that you just, you know, you can't really go wrong. So yeah, random beat off the fourth wave looper by Broke. Check that shit out. I'll put the link in the description. Yeah, let's go with number 25. I think that's a, sounds like a funky one. Hope you enjoyed that. That's my take on Transformers. Like the best advice I guess I could give you is listen to like Jazzy Jeff or someone like that who's got like super funky Transformers. I'm not gonna say buy it then because that's bad, isn't it? No one likes you to buy it. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? It's like they're the guys who got the, the nice, nice Transformers. So they're the ones worth kind of listening to and using as your inspiration. That's what let's put it that way. Like, subscribe and you know, share around, notification, all that kind of biz if you want to see more stuff. I might start doing a few more like DJ things other than just scratching because it does get a bit, it's a bit nerdy, isn't it? But uh, yeah, let me know if you've got any suggestions. That'd be cool. Peas and carrots. Alright, y'all want y'all to know the Jazzy Jeff is the greatest of all this jockey, so Bubble Jeff rock him. If you please.